Hey, I'm Mark Ferguson with Renegade Rentals. I'm here to show you our Intec Flyer Pursuit. Hang up. I'm going to show you how to the back. This is a 270 degree awning. Starts from the back here and wraps all the way around the front of the trailer. Can be easily set up with one person. Uh, the first thing you do, there's Velcro here on the back. You just pull the Velcro up and then pull the tabs down. You'll find the zipper right here. Grab the zipper, walk it all the way to the back. Fold the bag up over the roof. In this bag here, you're gonna find all of the stakes and the guy ropes to secure this down. You can fold this up, you can pull this out, fold this over. Undo the Velcro. There's three Velcro straps. Just let this unroll. Back here, there are four uh, poles here that are just magnet into the side. Grab the top one and just walk with it. Walk it all the way around to the front. And now that we're at the front of the trailer, you're gonna bring this leg down first so it doesn't get caught in the roof. All it is is just pull it down. And up on top, you're gonna to find a strap. The strap comes right back here. And it just ties off to this, this anchor right here. We are going to put some sort of clip on here to make this easier. Uh, once we do that, it'll be a lot easier to clip into place. But for now, we just tie it off. That's it. Up here, you'll find an area to tighten it. You just tighten this down to where it's nice and snug. Once it's nice and snug, you've got the legs to extend. They operate the same as the back. They just turn left to loosen, extend down. You can extend this, as you can see, I'm six foot three and it can go well above my head. Turn it to the right and tighten it down. Continue to do that with all of the poles. It also has Velcro to go around to hold it in place. Okay, now you can see the awning is up, but we're not quite done yet. Because of the size of the awning, it can easily be taken away by gusts of wind. And if you do get wind and it's not anchored, these joints are very easy to break. They're designed to break, so if you're out and you do break one, it's fine. We have some spares on hand, just let me know so we can get it fixed for you. Each leg, you can see at the bottom, has holes to put your stakes through. There's two stakes that go in each leg. So you have your leg in the ground. Run your stakes crisscross through each leg. If you're in windier conditions, each side of the awning also has an area for a guy rope and a stake to go out in this direction. Okay, we're gonna go over how to take down the batwing awning. First thing you do, take down all of the guy ropes they have out, pull out all the stakes. Once you do that, you're gonna put the legs back up, loosen them up, clip them right in here. You do that with all of them. Now the awning is strong enough to support itself so you don't have to worry about holding it up when you're doing this. Now before you do this one, you're gonna wanna either unclip this or loosen this up and then untie it back here. Uh, it, it's a lot easier just to unclip it and then get rid of this leg here. And once you pull this leg up, just grab this, walk it in. Grab the next leg. All the way to the last leg. Now you've got them all stacked up. You'll see here that there's little magnetic areas for them to go clips in right there. This one probably will fall out when you're doing it. No big deal. 
Now when you roll this, there is a trick to rolling this right. If you take it and just roll it like this, it's gonna be too large to close the bag up top. So you're gonna wanna grab it and roll it this direction. Roll it nice and tight, and then keep rolling it until it's all the way up. Once you've got that, start with the middle. Got the Velcro strap, feed it through here. Pull it tight. You're gonna do that on the front and the back as well. You're gonna have to pull them out from behind the awning. And then come around to the front. Do that one as well. Now don't forget the line you've got on the other side that you have to go get that you had it secured with. Pull that off, go ahead and put it in the bag or put it right here. This bag folds down. You've got your guy ropes and your anchors. Put them right on in here. Tuck them in, ball throw that closed. Last thing is the bag. Pull it down. Zip it up. Fold this one in first. And then fold the one on the the back goes on the bottom, this one goes, folds up. Wrap this around in your Velcro. Alright, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Mark with Renegade Rentals. If you'd like to rent our unit, you can go to renegaderentalsnc.com. Look for availability and rentals. Uh, we do rent by the night, it is a two night minimum. Uh, you can rent for as long as you want after that. We also do have a second unit, which is much bigger. It's a Forest River R Pod 193. That is a bunkhouse. So if you're looking for something to take with the family, please check us out again at renegaderentalsnc.com.